Hello, today we're going to learn how to um, write polynomials in standard form. A standard form of a polynomial is the form of the polynomial in which terms are written in descending order according to their degree. So we write these in terms of um, exponents for the variable and we go from highest to lowest. Remember the degree is the highest exponent. Well, in this case it is the exponent of the variable. So for example, when we have x squared plus x plus 1, this is in standard form because its exponents go from highest to lowest. So here my exponents are 2, 1, and then because I don't have an x here, this is like x raised to the 0th power. So again, those exponents go 2, 1, 0. When we look at x plus 5 plus 2x squared, this is not in standard form because the terms are not written in descending order according to their degree, meaning their exponents for their variable x does not go from highest to lowest. Here my variable for our x is 1. Here I have 5, so the degree of x is 0, and then I have 2. So this one is correct. The first example is correct because the exponents go 2, 1, 0. But in this example where it's not correct, it goes 1, 0, 2. So we always want to go from the highest degree to the lowest degree. So let's try some of these here. It says, rewrite the given polynomial in standard form, then classify by the degree and by the number of terms. So when I look at example one, I have 6x plus 3 plus x squared. The highest exponent for the variable x is 2. So the term x squared is going to go first. The next highest exponent for x is 1. So 6x, whoops, will go next. Let's grab that highlighter. 6x is positive, so I'm going to use a plus sign there. I know the 6x is positive because there's no negative sign in front of it. And then the last term I have is 3. So 3 is going to go last. 3 is positive, so I use a plus sign. So here we can see our exponents go 2, 1, 0. And that is for the variable x. So this is my answer in standard form. That is the first thing they wanted us to do. Rewrite the given polynomial in standard form. So that's the first thing. They also ask us to classify by the degree and by the number of terms. So let's do that. By the degree, well, the highest exponent for x is 2. So that makes this a quadratic. And then we have three terms, so that also makes this a trinomial. So x squared plus 6x plus 3 is a quadratic trinomial. Go ahead and write example 2 in standard form. So our highest exponent for the variable x is 1. And we can see that right here with the term 2x. Whenever you have a variable with no exponent, remember there is an imaginary 1 there. So 2x is going to go first. And then our second term is just negative 1. So 2x minus 1 is my answer in standard form. To classify this polynomial by the degree and by the number of terms, well, we're going to look at it and remember that we said that x had an exponent of 1, so that makes this linear. 
and then we have two terms, so that also makes this a binomial. Looking at example three, we want to write this one in standard form. I have x cubed plus 7 minus 9x squared. 3 is my highest exponent for x. So x cubed is going to come first. My next highest exponent for x is 2. So negative 9x squared will come next. Don't forget to bring that negative sign along with the term. 7 is my last term. It does not have an x, so that means it's x raised to the 0th power. So that is why it goes last. So now we can see that our exponents go 3, 2, and 0. So this is written in standard form. x cubed minus 9x squared plus 7. This is a cubic trinomial. It is cubic because our highest exponent for x is 3, and it is a trinomial because it has three terms. For example, 4, 4x four minus 5 plus 8x squared minus x cubed. To write this in standard form, it would be negative x cubed. Don't forget that negative sign in front of the x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x minus 5. This is your answer in standard form. Here you can see that your exponents for the variable x go 3, 2, 1, and 0. To write this, um, to classify this polynomial, well, our highest exponent is 3, making this a cubic. And then I have four terms. Anything that has four or more terms, we just call a polynomial. So this would be an example of a cubic polynomial.